I think it's very true that we live in a world in which there's so much ugliness um, and in which ugliness is um, celebrated and cultivated uh, in the arts, uh, in public spaces. So um, people, I think, know without being able to necessarily express the fact that they need beauty in their lives. And uh, of course, many people encounter that in the traditional mass. Uh, I actually, I know a priest who was raised as a non-practicing Lutheran and is now a very you know, ardent supporter of the traditional mass. And he just happened to walk past a church. well known for its beautiful music on Holy Thursday and heard the singing of Tenebrae, walked in and um, had been received into the church within a couple of months and has now been a priest for about 30 years. Um, and there are many, many, many stories one could tell of, of how beauty has led people to God. Um, and the traditional mass is very much the, the, the place where they find it. Beauty pulls a man out of himself. It lifts him above the ordinary, mundane, everyday cares and worries uh, and, and petty uh, anxieties of daily life. We have those things and we have to deal with them, but we also need to be reminded that we have immortal souls, that this world is not our final home, that we were created by God for God. We were created for eternal life with Him in heaven. Uh, and therefore they really need to be not ordinary. That is, they shouldn't just look and sound like our everyday world, our everyday sur surroundings. The Catholic Church has always understood this. The churches have always looked very special. The liturgy has always been set apart and exalted. The music we use has been uh, angelic music, Gregorian chant, uh, sacred polyphony. Um, in all these ways, we're reminded of our dignity and of our destiny. La característica que a mí más me gusta de la misa tradicional es la belleza. Todo es más bello y es hecho a propósito, bello para Dios. Música